My name is Zolshius. Once a novelist. But after losing my memory, I couldn't complete any valuable writing. Now I'm just a private detective with my clients. Until I receive this strange request. Investigate an infamous estate and find a man's lost daughter. Besides the check, it was the name on the letter that intrigued me. Not Orpheus, but... An alias that almost nobody knew, but me. Somewhere that's been deserted for ten years. This room's in remarkable condition. I think I'll stay here for the night. But it's too dark in here. I need to find an alternative light source before the fuel in this lantern runs out. Thank God. The candles here still burn. There should be some more on the wall. It's all psychological. These candles really calm the nerves. A paper airplane? Hmm. Something that children usually play with. Someone was probably playing around and it got caught up there. Then, a rat, scared by the light, shook it from the lamp. Who made it, though? This is what I can deduce from my initial analysis. But the paper used might actually contain some information, from which I might find other clues. This looks like a page from a diary. Interesting. The date is from several days ago. The person who wrote this is most likely connected with our missing person. Although I can't write anymore, I still have an uncanny ability to sense the emotions of a text. This is an ability most people do not possess. By reading the text, I can attempt to reconstruct the scene, and even find out information about the author.
The description mentioned an attic attached to the main house, located some distance away. I think we are still at the manor, but it seems we're some distance from the main house. For now, I need to focus and retrace the steps of our mystery author. Huh. I should probably drink less. <coughs> Judging from the content, my guess would be that our author is male, right-handed, and of average education. From here onwards, the writing becomes even more wild and illegible. Fear has stripped him of his ability to describe his encounter with any logic, as if something was hunting him. <laughs> the diary suddenly stops here. What on earth does that mean? A carnival. It reads like something that was written by a lunatic. I really hope that Mr. Reichenbach's daughter is not involved in this. What I really need to do now is find the rest of the diary, and find out what's happened here. And there should be other clues among these sheets of paper. The black powder seems to be charcoal. Hmm. The answer is probably close by. There happens to be a fireplace here. charcoal in the fireplace, but no diary. That's not surprising. But something else has attracted my attention. The unburned firewood. 
The chimney has been sealed off. Seems the owner didn't use the fireplace, and its true purpose remains unclear. There must be some more clues around here. Candlestick is. I think I know why there's an extra candle here. It's firmly attached to the fireplace. It seems to actually be a part of the fireplace. This is pretty important. I used to detest bedtime reading when I was a child. <laughs> 